Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has announced some big changes that are coming to BitLocker encryption on Windows 11 next year in 2026, with Microsoft unveiling a what they are calling a new hardware accelerated BitLocker that will be available on new devices starting next year, which Microsoft says encrypts data faster using dedicated hardware instead of the CPU. Now, how this is all going to work according to Microsoft. The update moves cryptographic operations from the main processor to specialized hardware. With Microsoft saying, and I'm quoting, cryptographic operations are now offloaded from the main processor to dedicated hardware, boosting performance and reducing system overhead. On supported hardware, encryption keys are now hardware protected by being wrapped and isolated at the silicon level, which helps to minimize exposure to CPU and memory vulnerabilities and raises the bar for data protection, quote unquote. Now, as you may well know, BitLocker, if we head into the legacy control panel device encryption, has been part of Windows since Vista and is now enabled by default on all new Windows 11 installations. And basically at the end of the day, a quick summary is it ensures that data on a device is protected, even if your laptop, as an example, is stolen or the hard drive is removed and accessed elsewhere. And then what happens is you can then sign in with a Microsoft account to retrieve your BitLocker keys from the cloud through the Microsoft account portal. Now, although this sounds good in theory, I'm just going to raise a flag here because we've had so many BitLocker issues, especially on Windows 10, that I've posted on since the inception of this channel, that I certainly hope with these major changes now to BitLocker encryption starting next year, I certainly hope Microsoft is going to get this right because already we've had so many BitLocker issues and I personally think that your average home user doesn't really need BitLocker encryption, although obviously that's up to, although obviously that's up for debate because a lot of home users don't even know that their computers are encrypted. They don't even know they have a key, and when there's an issue with BitLocker, it locks you out of your computer, and then they don't know how to get back into their PCs and their devices, as we have spoken about numerous times on this channel. But nonetheless, Microsoft emphasizes that those who prefer can still disable BitLocker if they choose. And obviously, this is just part of new announcements Microsoft made yesterday at its Ignite Conference 2025. And as I get the information, obviously, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.